Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. Microsoft has fixed many of the complaints that we had with Windows 11. But in this video I'll show to you guys three main fixes or features that Microsoft will provide once you will install Windows 11 22H2 version. I am in the Insider program and I have installed this version on my PC. In case that you want to see which version you have installed in your computer, you have to open settings and then you go over system and then you scroll down till you find about and over here you can see over Windows specification the version that is installed in your computer. One of the main features that we had on Windows 10 and now we have not in Windows 11 is drag and drop on the taskbar. But thankfully this feature is provided once again on Windows 11 22H2 version. So let's test it. So let's suppose that you want to drag and drop the Wireshark application on your taskbar. And in order to do that, now we just drag it and drop it over here and Wireshark will be linked on my taskbar. If you want to have Opera browser on your taskbar, you just do the same. You drag it and drop it over here. And here we are, Opera browser is on my taskbar. And if you want to remove them from your taskbar, you just click with the right of the mouse over the icon and then it will pop up all these options. But the one that we are looking for is unpin from the taskbar. So we click over it and Opera browser will go away from my taskbar. So this was one of the biggest features that will be provided on Windows 11 22H2 version. This version, which will be released soon to everyone, has affected also Windows Start. So for example, you are not able to create folders with your application on the start menu. And now you can do that very easy. For example, if you want to have together Spotify with Instagram, you just drag it and drop it over Instagram and they will be together on the same folder as you can see here. And if I want to put over there also the Facebook, I do the same by just dragging and dropping over it. You can put over this folder how many apps that you want. So I'm gonna put also TikTok over here and once you want to open this folder, you just click over it and then you have the possibility also to edit the name or to specify a name for this folder. So I'm just going to call this social media, for example, and then I just press enter and then this is going to be the name of this folder. And as we can see over here, the name of this folder now is social media. I find this feature really very useful because as you can see, there is a lot of mess over the apps that I'm seeing over here. Start menu will not be affected only from this future, but also by another future which will personalize the way how your start menu will be looking. And in order to define that, we need to go over settings. And then from the options on the left, we need to go over personalization. And then we need to scroll down till we find start. And now we can see that we have three possibilities or three layouts that are provided from Windows 11. One of them is with more pins. So you're going to have more pins over here. The other one is the default. So it's like a mix. And the other one is more recommendations. I will select more recommendation and let's have a look over it. So we can see over here that I don't have so many pinned applications, but I have a lot of recommended files which I don't like. The layout that I really like right now, which is provided, is the more pins layout. And as you can see, it looks really nice because I don't want to see all these recommended files that I can open. I find more useful to see the applications that I use more often. But you can select any layout that you find more useful and more friendly for you. Windows 11 22H2 will affect a lot the task manager. In order to open task manager, we just go at search and we type task manager. And once you see the ad task manager, you click over it in order to open. And as you can see now, task manager is on dark mode. I find really very nice this because I really like the dark mode on my computer. And as you can see, it looks really interesting. So Task Manager, it has been affected not only on the way how it is looking, but also on the layout. So we, if we can see now, we have on the left the processes and we can see the performance also here on the left. And we can find also the app history, the startup apps, users, details, services, etc. An interesting feature that it has been implemented now with Task Manager is efficiency mode. 
If we go over the processes, over here we can see all the processes that are running on my computer. And if you see that, for example, Microsoft Outlook is occupying a lot from your memory or from your CPU, and you want to put this on efficiency mode, you just click over the process with the right of the mouse, and then you can see this new function, which is efficiency mode. By clicking over here, we will put Microsoft Outlook on efficiency mode, which means that this mode will lower process priority and improve power efficiency, but may cause instability for certain processes. Do you want to continue? Yes, I want to do that. And as you can see, now it's showing this sign here, which says this process group is in efficiency mode. Let's see if we can do that for Microsoft Word. So we click with the right of the mouse once again, and we put that on efficiency mode also. And if you want to remove from efficiency mode, you just click over it with the right of the mouse once again, and you select over efficiency mode. So basically these were three main features or improvements that Microsoft will release with Windows 11 22H2 version. If you want to know more information regarding Windows 11 and the latest releases, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. I hope that you find this video useful. Thanks a lot for watching and wish to you all the best. Thank you.